One of our favorite parts about our spring event, the Beer Dabbler at Twin Cities Pride, is getting to spend a bunch of time in one of Minneapolis's most vibrant neighborhoods, Loring Park. We visited Lakes and Legends Brewing Company to talk to their co-founder, Derek, about why it was important for him to open a brewery in this neighborhood. So in the summer of 2020, City Pages called us best neighborhood bar in all of Minneapolis. To say that means a lot to us is a huge understatement. Obviously we're a brewery, but I think the title of best neighborhood bar really speaks to us not only as a brewery, but as a community gathering place um, for people to come together as bars are. Lakes and Legends was first founded, we, we took a close look at the ingredients that we could find here in Minnesota, um, what was available and, and how that could play into our beer. We honestly looked at a handful of different markets uh, across the country to, to start a, a microbrewery and Minnesota and its proximity to agriculture was a big reason why we're here today. And Lakes and Legends was probably the, the first and for a long time the only uh, Minnesota grown uh, craft brewery in the state and, and what that means is we formed a partnership with the Minnesota grown organization, one that we continue today and that we're really passionate about. Minnesota grown is the marketing branch of our Department of Agriculture and it essentially helps people connect with their local farmers. Through the Minnesota Grown website, we're able to find local ingredients like those fruits and, and botanicals to add into our beers. So again, agriculture and that Minnesota Grown partnership is, is critical to what we do here. So one of our favorite ingredients to use at Lakes and Legends that we can locally source is uh, malted barley and grain. Uh, for a few years now, we've been working with Malt Works out of Detroit Lakes to, to get local grain that the, they not only source, but uh, also malt themselves. In addition to their grain products, we actually made the switch within the last year to the Maltworks Raspberry. You can check out Maltworks ingredients in St. Gail through the raspberries, uh, but then also through a wide array of the beers that we launch here in the tap room uh, that uses their, their malted barley. So in season four of Dabbler in a Box, we're proud to present you our St. Gale Raspberry Honey Ale. Um, St. Gale has been our top selling beer here in the tap room and beyond uh, since the day we opened our doors in November of 2015. We created St. Gale because we wanted something that was approachable and different from what consumers could find in craft beer at the time. St. Gale has done a great job bridging the gap of bringing consumers from the macro domestic beers, from cocktails and wine, into the craft beer category because it's extremely drinkable, it's well balanced, and because it's a raspberry honey ale or a braggot, it's loaded with honey, but because of the grain that's also in it, it's well balanced uh, between those two. One of the things that I've always found really interesting is we started Belgian and we're still so strongly associated with that, but there's an opportunity for us to kind of expand beyond that. Not only do, are we brewing Belgian beers now, but we're playing around with, with IPAs, more hop forward beers and kettle sours and some bigger stouts. We've also started leaning into some hard seltzers as well. You're hearing it here first. We're super excited to announce that we'll be coming out with a new hazy IPA series in 16 ounce cans. That series will have a rotating hop bill and so you're always gonna get something new from those hops and, and new from our brewers. So we're really excited to launch that this coming November. So, so look for that in your local liquor stores. In addition to a new hazy IPA series, our tap room continues to evolve. We just launched our new Pop Wash hard seltzer product. It's a really nice, clean base seltzer uh, using some local flavorings that we're excited to tell you more about um, and just flavorings that I think you'll really be excited about. So um, if you're into hard seltzers, we got those now as well.
Well, thanks for stopping by and be sure to check out our Lakes and Legends St. Gale in the Dabbler in a Box Season 4 at Certix Liquors. In addition, be sure to check out all of our flagship products and liquor stores in the greater Twin Cities. Look for our new Hazy IPA series coming out in late November. Stop by our tap room in Loring Park here in downtown Minneapolis and go to our new website, lakesandlegends.com, for all updates on beer releases, events, and everything else we have going on. Cheers. Cheers.